Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to another doll review. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Pinkly Page from Rainbow High. I do think it's kind of funny because I feel like I haven't been making much Rainbow or Shadow High content lately, but I just did a review of Shadow High's various guys, and now I'm doing Pinkly here. So kind of two almost in a row, which is just how it happened, didn't plan it that way, but it is kind of funny to me. Um, but yeah, we are going to be taking a look at Pinkly here today. Really, really quickly, if through the course of this video you hear any meowing that is incessant and sounds like screaming, or if you see that I have a lot of scratches on my arms, we have a kitten that's staying in the house right now, and I promise you he is very well fed and cuddled, and he has toys and everything, and his nails have been cut. He's just young and he screams sometimes, so I'm sorry. Um, I do have like a couple of doors between me and him, but sometimes he gets quite loud. Hoping that doesn't happen here, but back to what we should be talking about. This is one of the new Friends dolls, so if we take a look at the back, we can see the other two characters in the line. I'm gonna be 100% honest, I don't know their names. I'm so bad with doll names if I don't plan on buying them. Like, I just don't remember them. <laughs> so I'm not sure what their names are, but these are the other two dolls from the line. And of course, Pinkly is also over here. I talked a little bit about her in one of my Dolls I Don't Want videos because I said that I didn't want to pay full price for her. And spoiler alert, I didn't. I got her with a Target coupon because I felt a lot better about paying less money for her. And I just didn't want to pay full price because I think she's cool, but like I'm not sold on this being, I think like $25 in the US, maybe a little bit more. I'll put the price on screen here. I'll double check it. But yeah, I wasn't like in love enough to want to pay full price, but I did want to still get her and like get her out of box because a lot of time that's how I connect with dolls. So you can see her and all of her accessories in here. And we're going to be getting into her today. She is a new body type, so I will be doing like a normal review. And then at the end of the video, we'll be talking more about the body type and comparing her to a regular Rainbow High doll. So definitely be looking forward to that. As we go through though, if you guys do enjoy the video, if you could give it a like, that's very helpful to me. And then if you're new here and you enjoy your time, definitely subscribe so you can see more. And if you want to just go absolutely out of your way to support me, I do have a bunch of links in the description, including my PO box, my Amazon wish list, and then my other social media. So feel free to check those out. But without further ado, I'm going to unbox her off camera right quick and then we will reconvene so that we can talk about her and everything she comes with and her new body types. I will see y'all in a second. Okay, Pinkly is all out of box and she is chilling out here, faced away, so that we can focus on her accessories first. Unfortunately, not the most flattering angle for her. Um, just the box hair is not looking that cute, but... We'll get through everything and we'll be able to look at her in a second here. So obviously she is on her stand. Just a quick note. I'm looking like in my camera and also like in person. And I think she's reading a lot more orange on camera. Whereas in person, she's definitely a very vibrant pink. So if you're seeing her and you think she looks not quite the right color, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, she is definitely quite pink. So yeah, she has her stand, she has her comb. And then the other accessories she comes with, let's just get this one out of the way because this is Bubblegum. This is her pet dog. I... I don't really know what to do with this. <laughs> they are articulated like a shocking amount. Even the tail is articulated. I just really don't like this mold. I think this looks extremely creepy. And the way that it's molded is that if she's not holding the dog, it's just like he can't stand. He's just kind of there. Um... So this really kicks off why I wanted to get Pinkly on sale is because I like her doll. I like her outfit. I really don't like most of her accessories. <laughs> so that's Bubblegum. Um, Bubblegum also gets their own accessory, which is a little flocked... Hello, focus. Thank you. A little flocked Rainbow High tennis ball that is, of course, pink. It's fine, I guess. I don't know. I don't really like the dog, so <laughs> I'm less enthused about that. Uh, then we have a pink... Makeup palette, which is something that we have seen from Rainbow and Shadow High before. And then a little pink lip gloss that does open up, which, I mean, is cool. It's a nice detail. But again, this is something that we've seen before, so it's not like a new accessory. Then she has a very tiny bag, which I actually think is precious. I like the color. All of the little painted gold details are really nice. It does technically function like it does have an opening in the top there. So that's quite cute. I like that one. Um, two more accessories. Sorry, I got ahead of myself for a second. <laughs> she does have a selfie stick that has an image on the phone of her with bubblegum. So that's cute. It's funny because this is the second doll 
in recent times that I've reviewed with a selfie stick because there also was the Fabulous Pets Clio. I I don't know what it is that I am attracting dolls with selfie sticks into my life. But yes, uh, hers does have this little like swivel feature. So the stick bends like that. It can't bend backwards, but it can bend this way. And then I guess if you rotate it, it could bend backwards, but it rotates a full 360. So that's cool that you can like reposition it. There is the grip on the bottom for her to hold it. And then a little ring light up top. And she does have her phone in here. The phone does come out. However, <laughs> on the back, you can kind of see in the K where the fact that it's like been in this mount, it's not molded right i guess on mine like you can kind of see these little nubs that are sticking out of plastic and so that has scratched the k and it might also be contributing to this up here it's kind of hard to see but it's definitely textured and scratched which is unfortunate um also just like barry she doesn't have a thumb grip on her phone so she can't hold her phone unless she has the selfie stick I don't know. It just really, it was sad to see that because of, I'm guessing, just an error in the plastic on this, the phone did get a little bit messed up. I don't really use accessories like this, so it's not that I'm upset because, oh my god, I was really excited about that one. It's more just that it stinks that you pay money for something and it doesn't work exactly how you want it to. Okay, then we come to her last accessory, which sadly is... Another rough one for me because I was really excited about it and I'm just going to have to try to find some way to fix it. I guess let me know in the comments if you know what to do. So these are her glasses and I really love dolls with glasses because I have to wear glasses and it makes me feel very seen. But there's like extra plastic up here that I can just shave off. Like that's fine. But you can see there's like a blotch on her lens where it's just like an overflow of plastic, I guess. Which is really sad because I was so excited about these. Like I was so excited for her to wear her glasses and be a cute doll with glasses. So if you have any ideas on how to fix that splotch specifically, let me know. Because like I said, I can like sand this off. But I don't really know what to do with that one. The sides are cute at least. <laughs> They're a little bit misprinted on this one. Yeah. It's not terrible. Like that's, I'm not nearly as upset about that as I am about that on the front. That one just hurts. Anyway, though, <laughs> moving on to Miss Girl herself. So, face is very cute. That's like the best positive. She is so pretty. I love her makeup, all of the sparkles, the few different pink tones that she has. She's very, very pretty to me. Her eyes are like technically blue, but they do have pink in there as well, which I think is quite nice. And I feel like at least the printing on her face looks good. So I'm happy to see that. I also really do like her hair blend. Again, it is definitely much more of like a fluorescent pink in person than I think it's appearing on camera. But she also has some strands that are rooted that are almost like a strawberry blonde sort of color. It's very much reminding me of Victoria Whitman's hair color. And I think that they go together very nicely and they look very pretty. She obviously has her like rock hard rainbow high curls. And as for the rooting, you could kind of see it on the stand. <laughs> I do feel like it's a pretty standard rooting job. It just looks bad because of how she was displayed in box and the box hair that she has. But once I wash her hair out and rearrange the curls, I think that this is going to look fine. I'm not freaking out. It's not like particularly sparse. It just doesn't look cute on camera. <laughs> and then she does have hiding in her curls a couple of earrings. These are very cute. The gem is like semi-transparent, which I like a lot. So you can't really see them with the current hair, but I do like that she has them. And then we have this little two-piece outfit with a bow and then like little ruffles and sparkles and then the skirt that matches. I think this is a cute outfit. It's a little bit like, it, it's always hard for me with Rainbow High because it's not simplistic in the sense that like, if you told me to make this, I would laugh. I wouldn't have any idea how to put this together. It's not like a wardrobe staple that everyone has, but for Rainbow High, it's fairly simplistic just because it is two fabrics, no like printing or anything like that, no um, embroidered embellishments or glued on studs or anything like that. I'm not saying that as a negative. I just am stating it, I guess. <laughs> I do think it's really cute. However, it is the satin and this hand was sewn here. And you can see there's a really, really bad pucker. 
And I'm more frustrated because it's so unnecessary. Like this sort of fabric just doesn't hold up well to tea ties or threads in it anyway. But it was just her wrist was sewn onto here. And I was as careful as I possibly could be getting it off. But like, we still have this. And it bothers me because it's not like she was in the box and it's like she was that way for security. It was to keep the pose. And I understand that you want to keep the pose so that she looks nice so that you can sell her. But this just feels like a very unnecessary thing that happened. <laughs> and I'm a little disappointed with it. Both of the uh, pieces do just Velcro in the back here. So pretty simple. There's a couple of loose threads like here and here. And then there was one over here as well. Those I can cut and it's okay. Uh, and then her shoes. I do really like these shoes. I think they're quite fun. I'm a big fan, y'all will know, of like transparent plastics. So the fact that these are kind of jelly shoes, I do think is really fun. And there is a little bit of painted gold detailing with the RH on the front and then also the buckles. So I do really, really love the shoes. That's all fine and dandy. So we did have a few little mishaps there. <laughs> a few things that are a little bit worse, but now we have to move on to her body. So Pinkly is supposed to be a new, like curvier body type. And I said before, I'm not a huge fan of how they executed it because to me, I feel like she looks pretty much the same at least in clothes as a regular Rainbow High doll. So since I actually just unboxed Barry, we're going to go ahead and grab Barry really quick so that we can do some comparisons, both with them being dressed and then also without them being dressed and then like their heights and everything. So give me one second. Okay, Barry has entered the chat here. She does look, at least from my angle, I think from your angle, they look pretty even. The hair is making them look slightly off in height. Like Barry looks a little bit taller if you account for her ponytail. But other than that, they do appear to be the same height. They're on stands, both of them. So I do think that they are the same height and that Pinkly is like a regular Rainbow High doll height. But this is what I'm saying is like, if you compare them, you can see a little bit if you are really looking for it, I think, that Pinkly has wider hips. But at first glance, I don't feel like it's a big difference. You know, like I don't think that it's a lot of difference it's kind of just oh wait hold on it's actually a bigger difference in her calves i feel like than in her hips but i'm examining them you know like i i do feel like at first glance you don't necessarily see it or maybe that's just me i don't really know i think let's hold their arms up to each other okay so it looks like she might have a slightly thicker arm as well i'm gonna zoom in for you guys Maybe that's just wishful thinking, but it looks slightly thicker to me. And then that's pretty much all that we can test while they are clothed. So let's go ahead and get them undressed right quick so that we can compare their bodies a little bit easier without all of the stuff in the way. I actually had intended to keep Barry dressed for now until I got around to customizing her, but now I'm kind of glad that I didn't because she has a little bit of like black lint from the shirt. And it is just lint right now, but I, I would worry that over time that could become a problem. So probably a good thing that I uh, ended up using her for this example. She doesn't sit in the stand nearly as well when she doesn't have the clothing on. Pinkly, your turn. All right, here we go. So now that they are not clothed, I do, don't fall. I do think it's a lot easier to see the difference in the hips. Like you can very easily tell that um, Pinkly has wider hips and also wider thighs, it looks like. She also has a bigger bust area. However, <laughs> if you turn her to the side, I'll take her out here real quick. Cause I have to like hold their hair back. I picked two dolls with curls. This is not the easiest way to do this. But side to the side, we'll go this way, sorry. I'm finagling. It looks like she maybe has a less extreme back curve. But it is just kind of interesting because a lot of her thickness is in the width, which like is fine. I'm not trying to shame Pinkly here or anyone whose body might look more like Pinkly's. I'm just pointing it out because it it is pretty clear that like the width is the big thing, but she doesn't have like a stomach or anything like that. Even her chest sticks out only a little bit further to me like it's not 
a huge, huge difference. I do want to see if they fit in each other's stands. Okay. Okay, so it does seem like it's a different waist clip because she is like snug. Pinkley is snug in Barry's and Barry is about to fall out of Pinkley's. So her waist is thick enough to justify having to do a different stand. And then I guess we should actually try... I know the bottoms aren't going to fit. Like... <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm very surprised. So Barry's bottoms, her skirt, technically kind of fits. It doesn't quite Velcro in the back. But if you are just using this for play or like just displaying from the front, she is still slim enough to fit into at least some Rainbow High clothes. I feel like jeans would probably be really hard because Rainbow High jeans are tight anyway. But, like, if you don't care about it actually Velcroing, she does fit. Uh, let's try just Barry's shirt. Because the shirt that she has, not the corset, but the um, undershirt, it's just, like, a basic black shirt, you know? Like, it's not anything crazy. Okay, yeah. So even though she does have a slightly bigger bust, she... <laughs> I twisted her and messed her up. <laughs> she does fit in that no problem. So the tops, it seems like are at least sometimes going to be compatible between Pinkley's body type and Barry's. I am saying all this, but I honestly don't know that Rainbow High in the future is going to bother doing any more characters that are Pinkley's size, because, like, these seem as though they were kind of the last dolls to come out before the soft reboot. Um, so who knows what will be happening in the future about whether we will even need to worry about... <laughs> <laughs> if these doll clothes are super interchangeable or if it will be a problem for just one doll. Let's see if we can get Barry in Pinkley's clothes. Okay, so for her, the skirt does Velcro up the back very easily. It's a tad loose, but it is Pinkley. I need you to not be in focus, I'm sorry. It is staying on. Like, it's definitely a little loose, but it's not going to fall off. So it seems like the bottoms work just fine and then the top will work fine because, I mean, if Pinkley can wear <laughs> her top, the top will fit just fine. So it feels like the clothes, at least in some cases, again, I'm sure like jeans or something would be a lot worse, but at least sometimes the clothes feel pretty interchangeable between the new body and the like standard Rainbow High body. And I guess my feeling on it is like... I just wish there was a bit more of a difference. This could be said for any doll brand, so I'm not trying to pick on Rainbow High or Shadow High. I just think it would be really cool if we made curvy dolls or plus size dolls that like actually were more so plus size or were like a less idealized plus size. Because she's very wide in the hips and she's got a little bit more of a bust, but she still has quite a slim waist. So it'd be really cool if she had like a pudgy belly or if her thighs were closer together. But, you know, again, that's not specific to Rainbow High or Shadow High. So I'm not trying to say that it's just them and every other doll company is doing great. Like, I understand that that's not something we usually see. I just feel like since Rainbow High hadn't done a curvy body type before this, it would have been a really cool opportunity to do something that most other doll brands won't do and really go for it. But I digress. Anyway, <laughs> let's finish this all up. So I guess my favorite thing is her face and her shoes. And her hair blend. Like, the shoes are super cute. The hair blend is nice. And I think that her face looks good. My least favorite thing is I really just do feel like the quality control wasn't super. Because I have this guy here that got ripped. And there are a decent amount of loose threads. And then we have the glasses that are messed up. And the selfie stick that scratched the phone. So I do just feel like there are a fair amount of quality control issues in this. Obviously, that's not something that will 100% happen to every person who buys Pinkly. Like, I could have just gotten a really bad one. But it is rough to see. So, as always, if you are able to go and look in store, because I did get her online. So, you know, there is that. I couldn't look for this stuff. <laughs> if you're able to go in store, maybe try to keep an eye on, like, the glasses. The phone, you won't really know until it's too late. And, unfortunately, the skirt is just how she's packaged. So, like, this could just happen. And I think it's pretty likely to happen to people. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just kind of a rough one. So I guess my overall feeling is that I do like her design. I think her outfit is cute. I think her glasses are cute. I like her bag too. It's a cute bag. 
Um, I like that she is a little bit curvier because it's cool to get at least a little bit more diversity and a little bit more representation. I would like to see the envelope pushed even further, but again, we don't even know like what Rainbow High is going to look like in the future quite yet. We've seen some leaks, but we haven't seen, you know, official stock images or like reviews of any of the kind of new wave of Rainbow High dolls. We don't even know if Shadow High is going to be a thing. So who knows what the future is going to hold, but I'm having pretty mixed feelings. I'm a little bit disappointed just because of the quality control issues. Like, I don't know. I really wanted this to be a really, really positive review. And it's not that it's wholly negative. It's just not wholly positive either, which is what I was hoping for. So I'm a little bit downtrodden, but that's okay. We're going to zhuzh her up and do our best to make her look super cute. Definitely, like I said before, let me know if you have any ideas for how to fix the glasses. And if you also have Pinkly, I would love to hear your thoughts on her and the new body molds that Rainbow High introduced with the new Friends line. If you have other dolls from the new Friends line, did they have good quality control? Just like, what was your experience? I'd love to hear from you guys about it. But yeah, despite me, having some rough things to say and talk about this video. I hope you guys were able to enjoy. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.